I want to share my Barbie haul that I got today. This is probably the best I have ever gotten. Look at the size of this house. It was This was handmade by uh, parents for their kids. And I think it's so incredible. It's very heavy, it's solid wood, and it's on casters, thank goodness. It is so cute, and I'm gonna have so much fun renovating this house. The only problem is I don't know where to put it, but it's really cute, and a lot of things came with it. I'll show you. I'm gonna unbox it all. I've waited to do it till I recorded this video because it's so exciting. So um, Dallas and Barbie are already checking it out and so excited to have this new project <laughs> in our house. Look at all these rooms. So yes, I'm gonna be redoing everything. I'll paint the walls, redo the floors, finish the edges. Um, I may keep that pink, pink carpet up there. I do like that one. And the green on the side. I, I wanna make it a 60s house. And this is all the stuff that came with it. My gosh, it's two boxes of Barbie furniture. And so we are really excited to have this. I don't know where I'm gonna put it. I thought of moving this and putting it here or over here, but it won't fit over here. So I'm still not sure where I'm gonna put it. We were gonna bring it up to the third floor to Barbie, Barbie Road, but um, it's six feet from end to end and four feet high and to get it up the narrow stairs it was too much it was really heavy for the two guys to bring it up to the second floor so I think I'm gonna have to clear a space in my room and actually keep this one in my room which is okay I, I don't mind having one in my room I think it'd be actually kind of cute I'm just afraid Dallas is gonna think that it's his new cat house <laughs> I mean, he loves the dollhouses as it is. I'm gonna keep the curtains because they're weighted. They really are like a real good texture for Barbie. I'm gonna redo the edges as I was pointing out there. I'm going to redo the wallpaper. You can see here it is ripping anyway. I'm gonna pull it all down. I'm gonna paint the ceiling and actually decorate the ceilings, I think. I'm going to redo this floor this edge uh the bathroom i'm probably gonna gut this is so cute i i love when i see what kids and people make and i like thinking of how they played with it and stuff it's really kind of like a sacred thing almost to me things that and so i will try and keep some things but i am going to modernize the bathroom and take out this box back here and I'm going to take out the curtains and redo the wallpaper and yeah, I'm going to make the bathroom a, a little more luxurious. I am going to paint the ceiling in here and add a light as well. And over here, I'm also going to tear everything down here and do the walls all over and do the ceiling. I'm going to do the ceiling in each room and uh, oh, Barbie's already checking out the kitchen. Yeah. The kitchen, the stuff that came with it for the kitchen is lovely and I'm gonna use it. And it's so sweet and special that this lady made this for these kids. She knitted all these things. It's like um, plastic when you knit into the plastic. And so she created just incredible furniture, which I can't wait to share with you. This is just gonna be such a magnificent kitchen. Now for the floor, I will probably um, do the black and white. I like the black and white, but I'm gonna make it Barbie size. This is more of a human size. So I'm gonna change the floor to a Barbie size. Everything here works. Uh, they even, it looks like they even left us a little bottle, <laughs> uh, some stuff in here. I just can't wait to do this room. So get ready, here's the amazing things that came with this dollhouse. So this is a fireplace and it's out of that knitting stuff. It's got great structure to it. It's perfect Barbie size. You can see it's right where it should be. It also came with this bed and it has like a canopy around it. The mattress can't be moved, but it is so cute. So here's this cute little refrigerator, again, knitted with the shelves in the freezer. 
and it has shelves and everything in the door for the um, refrigerator part. And it, there's a little toaster, so I definitely will transform this, sand it down and make it shiny silver and have it look a little more realistic. But I love it. I love all these little things that are so cute. <laughs> the little drawers and everything that work. What an adorable refrigerator. We're definitely gonna use this. There is also a microwave that was knitted. Ugh, this is so cute. <laughs> And a little potty. It's wooden. The seat does go up and down. And this is a corner piece of a stove and an oven above. Um, the stove opens, but the nothing under the stove, I mean, the oven opens and nothing under the stove opens. But that's fine. I mean, this, this lady has done an incredible job. <laughs> And look at this, so this is a bed. How nice is this bed? And with it, so what she did was she made a quilt, same plastic stuff, she made the mattress. She's got like springs or sort of, but it's the plastic that she made kind of spring-like. And then the mattress, and I'll have to do something to make that stiffen up and stay up. I know I can fix that with some wood, but the quilting with the plastic makes it kind of like weighted a little and i know this pillow doesn't go with this but it was with it in the box and i think it goes with another bedroom set that's coming up even the sides look at the detail on the sides I, i'm just blown away by this furniture and so honored to have it so this is like a foot box that goes at the foot of the bed um just sweet as can be and matching everything's matching so there was a dresser that goes with the bed and the drawers all open. It's so cute. Now there's a centerpiece. I don't know um, if something was supposed to go in there. I just, they just want to be a floor length mirror. And then there was also the chair, which I believe goes with it or goes in the bedroom. And then a little side table, which is too cute and the drawers open as well <laughs> so this is a Hogwarts bed and this was a quilted top that they made that's actually really nice and it's lined on the bottom I, I won't use this but I'm not gonna get rid of it I'll tell you that because I like the way it was made and this is um, a plastic Barbie bed that's been painted and this has been glued to keep it hanging down nicely so it looks realistic and I may keep it, I may turn it over, I may take it off and sand it down and paint the bed and quilt and put something on there different, a little different. I don't know if I'll use yellow, but I don't know. Uh, so I'm gonna hold on to that, we'll see. I think it's a cute bed and I definitely can find a use for it. So there's a knitted sink for the washroom. So this is your laundry room sink. Again, out of that knitted stuff, it's so nice. And then this is a, a coffee table. So for this little chest, I think I will probably add some real leather straps to the top of it, around it, in the grooves. But it's cute, it's made out of wood. And this is an island for the kitchen. Uh, there's a side flap that comes up, so I have to make something to brace that up. And it has drawers and doors, and it will be added to the kitchen. So this is one of those things that people made with their two hands and it's very crafty and it was probably hard for them to make. I can see they used like an office thing underneath for paper clips 
And this is the kind of thing that I think when people are done, they're really proud of it. They like it. It's something that the kids probably adored. And those are the type of things that I really treasure when someone gives me their uh, collection. So I will not get rid of that. I will definitely use it. And Barbie's gonna sit in it for a while. There's some really cute little containers, a little handle on the side. These are always great for shelves and supplies on Barbie shelves. This is a Barbie uh, container. So this is the star of everything that was in the box. This living room set came, this is the love seat. This is that knitted furniture. It's so amazing. This is quite a set. Wait till you see everything that came with this set. It takes me a minute to get to it. Here's a laundry basket. I think this is so adorable. Again, the knitted stuff. It looks like this is some knitted wall art possibly. Um, and this, oh my gosh, so this is the dryer. It has the little lint trap. And look, it actually turns, oh my gosh. It's a little handle in the back that you turn, but what an amazing woman, what a talent she had. And the washing machine to go with it. It's a top loader and it's got the thing in the middle. Oh my goodness, I, I just can't get over the detail of these knitted pieces and how nice they are. The structure of it and everything is just so awesome. This goes with that bedroom set, another piece we discovered here. Every drawer opens all the little drawers open how cute is this and it's such a good scale it's such a barbie size the lady did a really good job so here's that living room set oh my goodness this is the best barbie couch i have ever seen ever it's perfect ken can take a nap on this it is just such a great size and i'm gonna kill my cat i see him in the background he's not allowed up there and he got away with it because i'm so into barbie Oh my goodness, I just noticed that a little rat. So there's a little plant that matches all the living room furniture. Um, and this is so cute. So a little, um, uh, what do you call it, rack for the kitchen. <laughs> uh, and look, a carpet, a carpet to match the Barbie living room furniture. Just incredible set. I love this set. So here's a hamper, a knitted hamper, and the art on top matches. Oh my goodness, a mop, of course it, this is a knitted mop, a knitted vacuum. Are you kidding me? I couldn't believe it when I saw that. This woman was so talented. So here's a pillow that matches the living room furniture. This pillow I think matches a bedroom set coming up. And here's logs for the fireplace. Oh my gosh, I'm just blown away by this cuteness. I really feel like I hit the jackpot <laughs> and so, so, so happy with uh, all the things. A little extra carpet, which I see goes in that top room and another more green carpet, which is going to be great for my 60s house. So I'm real happy to get this carpet. So this is some kind of lamp thing uh, they made with a cap with caps, bottle caps. This dress form, oh my gosh, Barbie is so gonna use this in so many videos. I'm so happy to have that. And this is like a stereo system, probably goes in the living room, I'll bet, with the blue furniture. There's just so many little pieces. So these are little pieces, shelves, TV, backside if you flip it around in shelves. So all these little plastic type things, like I never use the scooters and stuff, but all the chairs and things like that, I will turn into realistic furniture. This may be Don doll size, and it might be something I can put to use for my Don doll uh, houses. So I'm glad to have this as well. I'll keep the piece and we'll see what we can do for Don. Yeah, it's a little, little smaller in size. Might not quite be Don doll size, but it's, it's close. Uh, so a modern bar stool. So there's just a lot of little pieces of chairs and uh, a flamingo. So <laughs> all these plastic pieces I keep and I can do things with them. Uh, here's a little high chair. 
but I do all kinds of things with these to make them realistic. So I put them in my Barbie flea market that I have upstairs and I shop in my Barbie flea market when I need to, <laughs> when I need something. So these are either old school computer screens or old school TVs, which I'm going to use them as old school TVs in my 60s house. I think uh, they'll be good for that, especially the orange color. I like it. So I absolutely love this. This is a bean bag chair. Oh my gosh, how perfect is this? I'm so glad to have a bean bag chair for Barbie. That's just awesome. So here's another piece of green carpet, which is absolutely perfect for the 60s house. I'm very happy to have that. So here's another little living room set, red and white striped. It's really cute. And it comes with a love seat and a little pillow matching. And here's something really sweet. It's a, a chair that you could have at the end of the bed probably. It's mostly just cushion, but it's pretty. I like it. And um, a little dresser, which eventually I'm gonna find the mirror for. <laughs> so a little makeup table or and this piece, I love this piece. So this is gonna go great in a bedroom somewhere, a chase lounge for Barbie out of purple velvet. So I won't reupholster this or anything. I really like it. Gonna keep it just like it is. So this second bedroom set is just the same, but it's in white and it's really pretty. And it's with the same mattress that's knitted and made and also an afghan to go over it or a quilt out of the same knitted stuff. I'm just really impressed how nice this furniture is. It's got the little chair that goes with it too and all the matching dressers, all the same stuff as the other set. So there's two full sets, one yellow and one white. Massive haul. And I want to tell you guys the price, tell us. but you're just going to be sick when you hear how much I paid for this. And really, if it had been any more money, I couldn't have purchased it because it was almost a three hour drive to get to it. I had to buy gas for the person who took me in his truck and that was 40 some dollars. And then I had to buy him lunch. So I ended up spending another $70 just to get it. But the whole thing, this kind couple sold to me for $40. So yes, this was a huge haul. I 
I do also plan to do the outside. So I will be painting the outside wall, as you can see. On this side, I will be taking off the shutters because they're kind of thick. And I'm going to make the slatted traditional looking shutters. I'm going to put windows in all the holes for the windows and paint the hole outside and maybe have some roses crawling up and some realistic plants on the bottom. And yeah, I'm going to make the front door right over here underneath here. And I'm going to make some steps and some railings to go around the porch there. So this is the final resting place. It did find a place in my room.